we're recording. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Fax Machine Podcast. And uh, today I'm here with me, Luna Tuna. I forgot what name I use on With here. me. <laughs> with me. And we also have Dumb One and Dumb Two over there. Introduce yourselves. God damn it. I am also me, uh, uh, Classy Stash or Orc. Hi, I am. Dumb as any! I mean, King oh, Henry. Mazzetti. I am King Henry. Hi, welcome. Fucking Dom Mazzetti. I miss him. Bro, Dom, I, I don't even know who Dom Mazzetti is. All I know is that you... Uh... Bro, bro, you gotta watch his content. He's he's the funniest... Well, he's, he doesn't make, really make much content anymore on YouTube, but he was the, the goat of comedy for the fitness industry. Finesse? Fitness. Fitness. Oh, I heard, I heard finesse. Finesse. Were you Bruno Mars? Yeah. Bruno Mars. Because <laughs> <laughs> the song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Don't worry, I understood. Mm-hmm. I understood human language. Did you, br- did you bring any topics here with you, with you Matt? Or did you have nothing? Matt? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 I got. I think I left alone. This is great. Hi. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think Matt is dead. I think Matt died. I'm. Um, I got. You're me- eating. I have. <laughs> Will you hear it? Frick it. Frick, no, it's fine. Frick it. Uh. Wait. How do you hear it? No. Okay. <laughs> last week's podcast. I well, not last week. That was a long time ago. Actually, that was like a month ago. Was it? Month three, or weeks three weeks ago. ago. Three weeks ago. I hated that episode. I absolutely despise that episode. I hate it so much. I, I didn't want to have it released, but it, it happened anyway. Tell us about it. I don't. I I wasn't proud of it. I had to tell, it. tell the viewers. Tell the viewers about the podcast and why you didn't like it. <laughs> because I I couldn't. I wanted to talk. I wanted to talk about VTubers, but I didn't want to talk about VTubers for the whole two hours. Even though I could talk about VTubers for the whole two hours, I didn't want to do that. But you and Matt were both. Uh, who? Dead. You guys were both dead. You're both dead tired. Who? And I was the only awake one. <laughs> so I had to hold the conversation. And it was so hard to think of new topics by myself. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Did you. Is the layout still up, by the way? <laughs> it's still up, but his cat, his avatar's not there. <laughs> just disappeared. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, his Discord died. Do you want to cut this out or want to. No, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> we're, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna he, keep he's going. gonna join okay. back. He's gonna join back soon. Maybe. Join back will be mid conversation. You won't even know what we're talking about. Yeah. Let's talk shit. <laughs> Let's talk shit about him. Oh yeah, dude, Matt. I can't believe that guy. Yo, this is a white supremacist. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, he's Yo, back. Hey, welcome back, Matt. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> my my internet just completely just said yeah nah i don't feel don't worry it. about it don't worry about it we're still rolling by the way oh uh, really what were you talking about nothing don't worry about it what are you uh, talking about no nothing <laughs> no. I, I can watch back the vod just tell me <laughs> no don't worry about it you'll we'll see it when you watch it well, no VOD? i don't know now no i don't we're, we're, we're talking about nothing bad i was li- what? Oh, that a nice ring down. i was sucks. literally just talking about my about like the last episode and how i didn't like um I didn't like it at all. I hated that, how I hated that episode. Oh, because you got called the sugar dad, or you wanted to be a sugar baby. That wasn't that wasn't even the worst part about it. Honestly, I just hate have to talk have to talk the whole time. Do you hate coming out of the closet? Don't pick a topic oh that only gosh. you know about. <laughs> it wasn't that wasn't the problem. The problem was you guys didn't talk at all. It's your fault. Pick a better Don't. topic. We we did. We did. You know. I was just <laughs> muted. I was just muted. I was just muted. <laughs> You guys were both like dead asleep. That's because I was half asleep. I I just woke up. We're both half asleep. That was the problem. I don't know, man. Sounds like a you problem. And you know, sometimes, and I'm just saying this, conversations kind of work like this. Someone brings up topic, you ask question on topic, that person elaborates on topic. See what I mean there? Even if you know nothing about it, you elaborate. I'm no, I'm no, I'm no topic genius. I'm just Good. bringing that up. Sure, hope you aren't. I'm not. No, I'm not. 100 not. I literally, I can't speak for the life of me. I stutter and I have a lisp. It's not nice. 
Aren't you, you that, aren't you the one that tried to pull the did I stutter comment on me through text? Yes, that, that was, <laughs> it was a joke. It was a joke. And Matt sent me a meme saying, you like, like, it was like a, you like Sundrays, but now get ready for a girl just actually hates you. And I said, yes, please. And he told, he told me to read the message back, and I said, did I stutter? Because that was the joke. It was a joke. I... <laughs> but then it was a funnier joke, because you said, did I stutter? But you do stutter, so I acknowledge that. Wow. Aren't you just a comedic genius? That's... Of course I am. Nice. Yo, this guy, he, had the, he, had the, he, stutter, he stutters a lot. It's, it's a problem of his. Let's make fun of it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can prove you want, you want to hear a joke right now? Go for it. What did the dog say to the cat? I don't know. Woof. Animals don't speak. Fax machine! Am I still allowed here? Okay, so or I'm... speaking of disabled people... <laughs> I am, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm, uh... I'm applying to this program. Or, uh... Okay. Or I'm gonna be Three a teacher. For okay. moderate to severe students with disabilities, grade seven to twelve. Okay. But how did you get this from stuttering and a terrible joke? And then it's gonna be like, I'm gonna be teaching you, orc people like you, or worse. I I only have a stutter. It's not a, it's not a disorder. <laughs> it's a, it's just like a what do you call it? Like it's not like a disorder. Half of your a... brain is gone. It's like, uh, I don't know, there's a specific word for it. A disability. No, not disability, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, My point? <laughs> I, just, I just stutter, that's the only problem, I just stutter. Your lips uh, are too fast for your brain. Cells. Honestly, yes. I know, I'm smart. No, I have, a uh, my, uh, sister-in-law, you did the same thing. Sister-in-law? Yeah, but she did it for younger kids. She's single? Sister-in-law means they're married to someone that is in my family. No, of course they're not single. Oh. <laughs> you think Henry has a chance? No. <laughs> I always have a chance. I'm. What I'm curious about is, uh, because I don't. Did we did we talk about before how you went to school to be a detective or a private eye? One of the two. He yeah. Did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, went to, yeah. Don't you normally have to like take classes in order to become a teacher? Yeah. Or are your credentials or everything like that just so like perfect and top notch? Oh no, like, no, no. Okay, yeah. No, oh, this program I'm doing is like a two year program where if I get accepted, I go in as a as sort of a teacher, but I have a mentor with me. So a teaching assistant. Uh, that's not exactly what they call it, but yeah, pretty much that for like three. For the whole duration, and then while I'm doing that, I will earn college credits toward the teaching master's degree. Oh, and, okay. And I think they, I don't know if they pay for all of it, or maybe a good amount of it. And then, from what I read online, usually the mentor will stop mentoring you after like the third month, and then you're just on your own. Good luck, Chief. Bye. That sounds Peace. terrifying. I mean, three months is a long time. I think three months is already giving us, give me a lot of time. It's like yeah, three, three months. months. It's like me breaking in into the class, as well as the mentor helping me out. And after three so, months, I, I think that six. I'll be more than ready. More than ready to be on my own. Because, better man. training than I got at my work. My work, they gave us a guy that was on light work duty. Told us, here's how you do it. He didn't even do the job regularly but he just told us here's how you do it and they just left us on our own after one day i mean you're still i mean you're still working that job so i guess you maybe you could be doing a good job then <laughs> we did get like in trouble four times for not doing enough even though we did exactly what he told us <laughs> i mean that's just management for you dude i mean we will, we will tell you the minimum we'll tell you the minimum amount we want you to do but if you don't do more than that <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Taking this job seriously? I told you to do five, but you only, and you only did five. Hmm. 
I don't think you like the job. But yeah, he did it from there. <laughs> It wasn't even our fault. He told us do three to four a day. We did three to four a day, and then we got back, and they're like, all right, do ten a day. You guys are weak. Wait, what do you do, Luna, again? Uh, I don't know if you guys have an America. You know how, like, when you're waiting for a bus, sometimes they have, like, those seats and, like, glass boxes? Yeah, we do have, we do have them in America. All right, basically, I paint those. Do you paint, or you just um take rip off the paper and then take put more glue on and put more paper on? You... There's no paper. It's it's paint. It's just, oh, what is wrong it's with a, you? It's a solid metal bar, and then you just paint over it. Oh, you you got paint. You're okay. Sorry, I I I missed I, I missed but I thought you meant uh, the advertisement. So you're an artist. It's just a roller that you paint black. With. <laughs> oh shit! You're still an artist, bro. <laughs> what? Kind? Such art, Black Avoid, my favorite. <laughs> the Abyss. Alright, speaking of Black, I, um, I think I've told you guys this, but uh, on Anchor, where, uh, you guys can also listen to our podcast, on Anchor, I'm looking at the geog ge geographic location of my listeners. And 3% are from Uganda. I'm going to tell you this now. Delete this part. Delete it. Delete it. Delete it. And the other three percent is from Hong Kong. <laughs> delete I, this part. I and, have a feeling those are people that just made their accounts and just changed their state or what, place v to something. What VPN random. it just to listen to yeah. us and change it back? And then or they just forget they had it on. Twenty percent is from Canada. Look at you. No, no, no. That's literally all Keller my friends weird. are told about it. That's about it. Oh wait. Oh. I get, I was waiting for the wing for Orc to go, oh, what do you mean? That means 20% of our viewers don't exist. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, 83% is on Ontario and 16 is from Manitoba. Whatever that Manito means. Who the fuck's in Manitoba watching this? Shout out to you, Manitoba guy. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> the Hong Kong people is from Sha Ting. 100%. I'm guessing just one person, maybe three <laughs> percent. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. U Uganda. It says there's not enough data for Uganda. I don't know why. All right, guys, we need to appeal to a Ugandan audience. Do you know the way? <laughs> Do you know the way? I I hate myself <laughs> for saying that. I forgot all about that. I wish I could figure it all about that. Where's you addicted to that, Henry? You said it a lot. Oh, I was so addicted. I was... You were part of the problem. You were disgusting. I, I was part of it in VR chat. I was part of the army. <laughs> Goes to random maps and just raid people with it. As someone who appreciated VR chat, that meme single handedly ru ruined VR chat. I will be honest. Bro, it was fine. It was, it was funny. I mean, it was, you got a VR I, chat. Have it was a, it was a small community. It was great. I mean, it got bigger over time. Yeah, it was a little bigger before before Uganda came in. But when Uganda came in, when Uganda, Uganda Knuckles came in for that meme, came in, it ruined the whole atmosphere of VR chat. Tons of people started playing the game. The whole atmosphere was gone. What do you mean? It's a great atmosphere. It uh, was a terrible atmosphere. What's so I, bad about it? It just, it ruined what made VR chat was so great. It was a smaller community, and, and everyone would talk to everyone. Whereas the bigger community put, made more clicks, and then those clicks made clicks. And now everyone's, whenever you go into a private room now, you're going to find five clicks. And you can't start a conversation with any of those clicks because you're not a part of that click already. Oh, it's, it's... oh when you say click, like a group, right? little group? Yes. That's it's, what I mean. Yes, you can. There are worlds just for that. Depending on uh, the who, world you go to, like, some worlds, they're just pretty much every- well, It's designed for just strangers on strangers to talk. Yeah, but like, the, like even like places like the pub, like the, um, the pub, like the very popular pub, I forget like what it's actually called, but- Yeah, the should, pub, P-U-G. Yeah, the pug. That, pla places like that. That's too- that's there's... old school, you need to find a new- the new version of it. But it's the most advert. It's like the like when you think of a VR chat world, that one's like one of the most default ones that come to mind because it's a, it's um it's always being pushed by VR chat. Like, hey, this is this here's this world that it, it still is no. Yeah, it still is. Oh, because it's it's, a, it's also a world that's quest compatible. 
Oh, okay. I mean, and I... nine times out of ten, let's be honest, <laughs> and I freaking hate this, nine times out of ten, the players in VR chat are mirror dwellers. I freaking hate them. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. Would you like to elaborate for those of uninformed of uh, a mirror? A mirror dweller is someone who just, any kind of avatar, most of the time it's an anime girl avatar, and all they do is just stand in front of a mirror looking at them. And usually it's um, people with VR. So they can like move mm -hmm. around, touch their boobs, touch coochie and stuff. Oh my god. Oh, so you. Yeah, like Orc. Yeah. You... Orc is problem. <laughs> and you, Henry. What? I don't have VR. Henry, Henry, Henry should get VR. No. I believe that. It, it, you, you've been getting better at FPS games, right? Yeah, no? a little bit. Go, baby. Yeah, a little bit. I think I'm getting better. But Apex, last time we played, like, what, two rounds or three rounds? I, it got so bad. Because it's a very fast-paced. TFO is not that fast-paced. What, what I think, honestly, I think, I think you need to build an endurance. Like, kind of like a... What, like, it just... You need to just keep playing. You need to build a... Uh, what, I'm sorry, what Oric. I, I uninstalled Apex. It's, what, 48 gig? Of <sighs> crap? Okay, not crap, but... 48 gig? For that game? I... I Where... I, I, I just... I, like, I, I like, I probably only explore, like, 1% of the map before I die. That's, like, less than 1 gig. Of gameplay. <laughs> well, I guess we, you, we, we didn't play it. We could have played again. We could have played some more. Apex. Apex stream oh. win. Apex win. I don't know. It would just reinstall it, though. Shit. It's going to take a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of minutes. And that's, like, that's your big... Meanwhile, me taking like, like a couple of hours. Henry out here like, oh, man. I'm going to have to download this, a this Apex game. Like 50 gigabytes. Oh, man. Like... 10 minutes of my life gone. Can you believe it? No, I Meanwhile, just... Meanwhile, <laughs> I'm like three hours. Like, yeah, dude. I, you got it rough. I just got worried because the other day, I was like cleaning up my my storage, my drives. And one of the drives was almost at the red. Oh, and then yeah. I, and then I was like, oh, shit. And I looked in. I forgot to delete a lot of previously um, recorded videos. Like, for YouTube, or for this, or for stream. And now that I clear yeah. it out, I cleared out like 200 gigabytes. One of mine's you... in the red. What? One of my two drives is in the red. That's not good, I... you can never put it in the red. It does oh, weird wow. stuff what to you... it. It does weird stuff to it. Are you kidding? This one is in the red, and guess, guess what's in there? Porn? No. Apex? No. I don't know. I don't know. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Call of oh. Duty Modern Warfare. Just two? Okay, yeah, it makes sense then. Wait, I don't that get has it. taken up almost 900 gigabytes. No freaking way. What? No way. How are much are in those games? These maps. Wait, is there more? Um, and, oh, there's a few other games. Holy shit, there's oh, okay, a lot okay. of other games. Yeah, there's no way two okay, games can it. almost be one terabyte. <laughs> when did, no what way. did I put the- I don't remember putting these in here. Okay, Apex, that makes sense. As long as yeah, it's but not- Henry. Yeah. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Never mind. You don't have an external hard drive for your videos. Yeah, like... but when I- when I record first, I record on my- the best drive. Which is my- Oh yeah, that's what I do as well. But I, I immediately, once I'm done, I move it directly over to the- it takes a while though, cause my biggest yeah. drive is four terabyte, and that is HDD HD. That's weird, cause I f I have less storage than you, but I don't have I don't have a storage issue. Weird. I don't know. Welcome to two YouTubers. Uh... <laughs> uh, the only time I've ever had a storage issue when uh, is when Premiere will. You you don't have like a SSD drive, right? Yeah. Premiere will sometimes just auto switch auto switch saving cache to my SS, SSD drive. And I only have I, I, that's like a very small drive. I don't really save anything on that. Mm -hmm. And it will just start saving cache in there. And I, I never notice that saving cache in there until I only have like five gigabytes left. <laughs> <laughs> 
And that's when it gets very dangerous, because if I try to move the, everything from the cache to the HDHD drive, it has like a 40% chance to corrupt, it, corrupt the whole entire video edit. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, very, it's very scary. So it's like, do I, risk, do I risk killing my SSD drive, making it max? <laughs> or do I, do I risk, the, risk losing like this 30 minute video I've been working on? It's one or the, one or the other. Nice. That's, my, that's my problem. Well, I have about 300 gigabyte free now on my my main storage thingy. Oh, when you, when you when you do eventually start getting better, do you, are you are you good with underwater, Henry? Swimming? Yeah, I'm good. Is anything underwater? Because I'm good at swimming. Like, yeah. I would recommend Subnautica, the game, but it's first person. Oh, that's the problem. Oh, I watched you play. It doesn't doesn't seem too fun. I don't know. Doesn't it seem to. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, I mean, like, how far did you make it into the video? <laughs> like, this, it's question. just like the thing you're fighting is like alien sea creatures or what human? You're not fighting. No, like you're, you're not the, you're the not, enemy. It's not really about fighting. <clears throat> is this survival? Yeah, it's survival. Oh. You explore the under. You explore the ocean. You mine. You do stuff like that. I just wish it was darker. It seems so bright. It seems too bright. Uh, or, uh, like a, it tried to be a scary game, right? No, it's not trying to be a scary game. It, but it, it can it be scary. Oh. It's not trying, but it can be. That's, that's what it is. Oh. There are parts where, like... <laughs> there are parts where it gets pretty scary sometimes, though. And especially when, like you're when you realize how tiny you are when you realize when you like you leave one of your vehicles and you see that these creatures are pretty big and they could kill you at any moment. Mm. It's a game that I, I I fell in love with. Yeah, guys, check out um Oryx Subnautica video in the <laughs> in his YouTube channel. I have two of them. He has two apparently. I did not know. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I played the second one. There's two. Holy shit! Yeah, it's it's quite it's quite fun. Speaking of X Y chromosome, um, the gender for our listeners are all male. Where are the females at? And where where are the non non binary? <laughs> I'm pretty sure and non specific. Sure you're the one that's scaring them away. <laughs> what type of female? They would watch one one second and be like, oh shit, okay, it's over. So any games you guys have been playing? Uh, honestly, no, I don't really play. I, but I haven't played any single player games recently. Well, have you? Well, just so you know, there's this small little game. I don't know if you're. I only have a few hours, and it's called Apex Legends. I play this on the daily, every day, but I only have a few hours. I'm still kind of new to the game. Let now. it be known. Let it be known that this whole week, I haven't played that much this whole week. I honestly haven't had the addiction to play it. I've honestly been kind of just playing when I want to play with friends. That's it's literally it. Monday. What? Oh. I meant last week then. Last week. <laughs> I played it like twice last week. That's because I wasn't home to play with you. I literally have another friend I can play it with. You have friends? I have you? friends? Invite oh them. Oh my gosh. Invite them? Oh my gosh. I'll invite the guy who hates talking. <laughs> well, you're here and you hate us, so I don't see the problem. I don't hate you guys. I despise you guys. Know the difference. Simply strongly dislike you guys with everything in my body. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I've been playing this one game called Idol Manager. That's How much in fun. debt are you in now? Uh, <laughs> I lost the company. <laughs> I I got that. I got the um bad. I got the bad ending. So, <laughs> so correction, so correction, you were playing Idol Manager. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. I need to pick it back up, but I just haven't. It's, uh, it's pretty fun, though. I enjoyed it. He's scared of the debt. I am very scared of the debt. Idol Manager, is it those games where it's like idling and then you do stuff? No, no, Idol, Idol, Idol Manager as in like, um, like J, J pop stars, but just Japanese, like Japanese idols. Not oh. idol is in like, like you're away. I D O L. Thank you. That's, oh. that's way to explain it. Yeah. That idol. Okay. Pop idol. Yeah. Pop idol. Yeah. 
it that that's what it is. It's actually pretty fun. You gotta man you gotta manage songs, you gotta manage every single one of their hacking physical and mental stamina. Apparently from what I've heard, it literally everyone is in debt and if you were out of debt, you were some type of god that should not be playing idol manager because you're too <laughs> good at it. Real manager plays it. <laughs> it is very tough, I will admit. <laughs> but luckily, after my first playthrough, I've learned some things. I've learned that there's some, there's some things I don't have to spend money on. Like commerce. Oh my gosh. Why are you like this, Henry? Yeah, why are you like this, Henry? Because they can't smash anyone. Because they're, uh, by no, you, you, contract. You, you get to decide that. What? You get to decide whether or not whether or not they can date people. I can decide and if I, I date them. Uh, no, you. you get to you get to decide if they can date anyone. Yeah, you can only date your manager, guys. That's in the contract. I mean, there is a romance feature in the game. Yes. Oh, baby. Uh, you get like you just kind of grow like you talk to them and start to like you, and then and then you you can date them, and if they uh, retire, we, right, graduate. I know. I know why orcs stop playing. There's no tsundere option. There, I don't. I mean, their personalities aren't really. Like the thing is, they don't really have personalities, in my opinion. Damn, well, this There's, is a video game. It's just a bunch of uh, chosen lines that they that they say. It's a random chosen line that defines that character. Damn. It's, uh, it's it's a little different. It's a little different. The romance feature isn't really my thing. I mostly just have fun. Managing everything. Damn. Yeah, it's also really cool that when um one of the idols graduate, you you can decide whether or not they just leave the company, or you can hire them on as like a uh, as someone to to train future um, idols. Or make them to your wife. Oh my god. You can stay. You can you can stay in the company to be my wife. Yeah. It's simple. Simple choice. Yeah, I uh, on my first playthrough, one of my idols graduated, and I'm like, oh yeah, stay with the company. But then I realized I didn't, I didn't really have a job for her <laughs> to do. <laughs> and I would, I would feel, even though, even though she's fake, I know she's fake. I would feel too bad to have to have told her to come, come and stay in the company, and she agrees to it, and then just to fire her. So I, I just, I left her there with nothing to do. I was just paying her basically to do nothing. <laughs> uh, I wonder where your money went. She wasn't that expensive, buddy. It was pretty bad. Still, you're paying someone to exist. I, I, would, I would feel too still. bad. Oh, uh, let me um, let me talk about this one really cool thing that happened last week. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I saw it. Uh, do you, you are you all um? Familiar with Jerma nine eight five? Yes, kinda. Uh huh. Henry? Seen the name? Yeah. Uh, for the for last week he had streams where you would he would play. It's like you know the Sims, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would be real life Sims, and yeah. the viewers had get, got to decide what he did. Um. You there were, there were there were like a ton of he had a ton of crew like a bunch of people there, there were like cameramen and this was all helped out by both Twitch and Coinbase two companies that helped uh, pay for this and they had like a set of like a yard a house that and inside the house had like three rooms and it was really it was really cool and really innovative. I think I watched chat. one with uh, with the the blonde hair guy streamer that did the one month marathon. Uh, Ludwig. Yeah, he was on oh, yeah. Germa like two well, days ago, right, or three days ago. Hmm? Say again. He was on Germa for like two or three days ago, and it was like just a scene in the kitchen, and he was just cleaning up. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> He was, uh, he was, he also played a role. It was like, it was a three day thing. So for each day, there's a new episode. Mm -hmm. And Ludwig on the second day 
a little bit like what was there for the first day. I don't remember. I don't. I don't. I don't know what he did. I didn't watch the first day, sadly. But in the second day, Jerma hired a maid, and Ludwig was that maid. Oh, that's how he was cleaning up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. It was really great, and every time he would go to sleep, people, everyone could just could vote to buy items to put in the house. And it was it was really innovative. It was so cool. I can't put into words just how cool and interesting this was. Probably it was it, such a brand new thing. Scale of one to ten. One to ten. Honestly, it was a ten. It was a great watch. My gosh. I don't think it was fun for the people. Hmm. I don't think it was fun for the people. What people? The people doing the, sh- the thing, the show. Well, how I buy that? So I remember there was this, uh, there was this Japanese streamer that did something similar like this. A, a long time ago. And maybe I'm just butchering this thing up or, or like mistaking this one. I don't think it went well. Like he, he, uh, it's like a reality. Well, the difference is that it's all fake and it's all pre. It's like um, just the characters ass. that are brought on are fake. They're just playing characters, like a reality TV, but like role play. Yeah, kind of like reality TV, kind of. Okay. But but they also had management and people and like moderators that would moderate everything that got chosen. Mm. There was also... Yeah, I forgot where I was going with this Japanese streamer that did the live reality TV. It was just a. He just had his stream turn on, like, straight. Like, day straight, and he turned pretty crazy at the end. I hmm. forgot what, what it was. I would just imagine that it would be because he had no privacy. Yeah, he didn't have any privacy. And he was... I mean, he didn't have a choice. Oh, right, right, Yeah, so the thing was, he also, there was also viewers watching was able to... Like, I think it was like the donation system, where people can donate, and then... They can make him do whatever he wants. Like for example, like I think one of the scene was he had to get pretty much naked with his underwear on because the viewer donated like this amount of money, and then the host just told him he had to like just pretty much get naked, and he had to do oh. that for the duration. It was a weird thing. That nothing was like that on drama, like. You couldn't donate to tell them what to do. You'd only be able to uh, vote in polls that were a moderator decide what. Like a moderator, a moderator would decide like four choices that the chat could choose. Yeah. What well, to for, do? Yeah, for the Japanese streamer guy, I don't think there was any moderator. It was just a host, the guy doing the thing, that he had pretty much no outside contact or outside like talk, and then just the viewers. It was just like a two man thing. That was weird. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to say that's pretty weird. <laughs> so who's Jerma? Jerma, he's a streamer. Oh. Yeah. yeah I, I think he's pretty good. I, 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 I've only recently... I, this, I, this is the first time I've, I've actually watched him. You want to take a look at the image and... Uh... Wait, is this Jerma? Is he from uh, Team Fortress? No, he's not. Oh. You take a look at the look at the Fax Machine podcast. I sent a picture of what the set looked like. I sent a picture too of Jerma. Yes. <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> that's what the set would look like. Oh, cool. It was really cool. It was really it was really I had a fun time watching it. But that's my rant about the Jerma dollhouse series. It's kinda weird though. I, I, I get I would get it's fun to watch. It's fun. I, I would imagine I, it's, it's funner w- to watch in real time. Yeah, I feel like it's weird to to actually do it. I would. I would do it. I think it'd be fun to do it. Honestly, I think it'd be a lot of fun to do it. To just like, if you have very trustworthy mods, I think it's fine. But just well, this was a whole management team, though. Okay, I guess it's all right. It wasn't just moderators. It's the whole management team. There was a. There was like a, you know those, those apps you can put on your Twitch? Mm-hmm. There was a whole app that they, that they made specifically for that stream. Nice. So that's how they could, uh, that's how people could buy items and everything like that. 
It was very, very innovative. Very done. Very done. Well. But yeah, that's my drama dollhouse rant. I don't. I don't have anything else to say about it. <laughs> oh man, that Sims thing always makes me think of that video. The the patch that notes. The Sims patch oh, notes. Remember? Sims patch notes. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, some Bro, good ass stuff. It's a classic. Sims 3 cash note, but vocoded? Vocoded, yeah. <laughs> it was. I think an old video, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. 2019. Not that old. I think the vocoded version is 2019. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how old the original one is. No idea, though. No idea. It is no longer possible to try for a baby with the Grim Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> Become enemies with child wish no longer appears. Oh, I will. I will. Okay, this is my last thing for the drama thing, okay? <laughs> Wait. The last what? Sims who are on fire will no longer be able to force to be forced to attend graduation <laughs> before they can put themselves out. <laughs> Okay, what is it? <laughs> Man, the boomer. Man, what? the freaking boomer. They're still great. And they're great, yeah, but... <laughs> Baby Sims will no longer become stuck on a Sims hand while driving a car. <laughs> um... Yeah, what's up? Jerma woohooed Grim Reaper. Like, real life? But no, like real life, it was pretend woohoo. <laughs> Well, all, the, most they did, the most they did on the stream was like lay in the same bed. That was the most they did. <laughs> Wait, and uh, Ludwig as a maid walked in. Did they, did they have someone dressed up in the Grim Reaper to go to the bed with him? Yeah. Zerma was supposed to die. Oh and shit. Then he, and then he flirted with the Grim Reaper, and the Grim Reaper was like, yeah, I'm just head out. I'm gonna leave. Did you try for baby with Grim Reaper? <laughs> He, he woohooed with the Green Reaper and Ludwig walked in oh, and they <laughs> went downhill and the Green Reaper was like, I can't handle this, I'm leaving, I'll see you later. Oh my god, I need to look, look at that scene. It's real it's a really good it's a really good series. I didn't I imagine it won't be as fun to watch highlights of it because Interaction was like the best part about it. I think. Well I guess not the best part. The whole, the storyline was pretty alright. But Interaction was the best part about it. I think I found a clip of it. <laughs> I think. Jerma <laughs> cheats on sexy maid Ludwig with death. I, yes, I that is it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll watch it after this. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch it after this. It's really good. <laughs> oh my god. What about you, Matt? Got anything else? Got anything interesting to say? Anything cool happened to you? Baba Booey. You heard it here, like you hear it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Freaking, what about you, Henry? What the hell is Baba Booey? <laughs> it's a very old name. Don't even worry about don't it. Don't worry about Baba Booey. <laughs> An old name. Don't watch that. Baba I don't know why he said it. He's cringe. Don't worry. Don't listen to him. I mean, I just got back from vacation, which was nice. I don't. Oh want yeah, to how was back. that? It was really fun. Played a lot oh. of board games. Which now I have to buy online so we can play online because that game is fun. Uh, a tabletop simulator online or like an yeah, actual table tabletop simulator? Oh. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard it. You know, it's called Villainous. I've heard of it. Never heard of it, actually. It's basically they take like Disney and like Pixar villains and then they make it turn into like a board game where you have to do a certain thing to like earn a win condition from that character so like one of them was Jafar from Aladdin and you had to get to the cave of wonders you had to play a magic lamp to summon the genie and you had to you had to make it all the way back to home base with the genie hypnotized under your control and that was your win condition <laughs> It's a lot more, f it's like, I don't know how it sounds, but I found it a lot of fun because you just, and there's a way to like screw over other people and it's just fun because when me and my friends played, we, there was 
three of us that were brand new to the game, one that was like an expert, and another that was fairly familiar with the game. The three of us just teamed up on them and constantly battled them. And <laughs> the, it, the entire time, it was nothing but complaints. It was like, come on, you guys, just do something else. I know we're good at the game, but you can't keep doing this. <laughs> can't keep getting away with this. But it was really fun. We played a lot of Smash as well. Not that Smash, Henry. Oh, Super oh. Smash Bros. Damn. Mm, yeah, I've, uh, surprisingly, what? I didn't win every time. I'm sad. Wow, wow, aren't you really humble? I know, right? Surprisingly, I didn't win every time. Could you believe it? You believe I fucking didn't win at a video game? Unbelievable. I'd believe it, honestly. <sighs> well, we know you can't win video games. I can win video games. Prove it. I will. When Re reaching the good ending of a VN doesn't mean winning. It does mean winning. What do you mean? <laughs> I work hard for my winning for my good VN. Bro, I read that chapter so hard. That's what she I said. I made all the hard choices. That's what she said. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how hard it is to get good to get to. Get to I don't know, Henry. You play visual novels, right? Yeah. Can you can you relate to whenever um like a choice comes up? Like, like it's like a super important choice, and you take like fifteen minutes contem contemplating, which one's the best option? I don't, I don't think that long, but I'll take a well, good, 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 good five minutes. Duration, but yeah, you oh. you think you think a long while about it. You don't, you think you think. Yeah, is this gonna make me be able to smash or make babies or not? I play I play a little bit more deeper games than that. So like my choice is a little bit harder than your smash get choices. Oh. Have you no man? Have you tried interacting with a female? I think that no. shit's life or death. <laughs> 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 you dare to assume I would try? You talk to your mom, don't you? That's different. That's an easy mode. I said interaction with a female, and you said no. Okay, well, fine, fine, or, fine. Or yeah. doesn't talk to his mom. Oh. But yeah, I I agree, with Rick. I know what you're talking about. Like if you're playing a super serious storyline yes. and you have a very important choice and there's like five choice and not just two there's like five <laughs> that's you got a lot to think about yeah man it's, it's terrifying yeah terrifying Usually... especially when oh go ahead oh no you go i was gonna say especially when um when a character's life or death is on the line oh yeah but that's just damn. That's damn. That, that's mine. I think VR getting 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 the good ending in a VN should be a a, a good achievement. <gasps> Depends on the VN. Wow. Speaking of VNs, what would you do if they made a VR VN? I already have. I played it. Of course you did. Or didn't like it. it was, I, honestly, it was. I got, I got lucky. It was, it was for my birthday. My friend gave it to me. It's not ready yet. Birthday. The VN, the VR technology is not ready for a VN. No, but here it actually is. The problem is no one. Oh yeah, no, actually, you know what? I take it back. I have played one good one, one fantastic one. But my gosh, the animation was perfect. And oh, there's one scene where she hugs you. It was. Mwah. Say the name. Amazing. I don't remember the I don't remember the name, name anymore. Hold on, I'll I'll look for it. But uh, she took your hugging virginity, and you don't even remember her name. It was a long time ago. It was a super. It was like back when I first got VR. So I it was long time ago. But uh, it was really well done. But it only it was like a it was like an hour or two long. It wasn't that long. Oh damn! Well, you gotta find yeah, it was. You gotta find that team that made that. And see if they made a uh, follow-up games or other game. Yeah, I this this is like the first time I've remembered it in a long time. Yeah, your first hug, you're right? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I forgot my first hug. How could this be? <laughs> your first VR love hug. It is a lot of good parts in it, and it's like a part where you get a head patter. It's really great. After menopause, head pad and 
head pat and hug and you don't remember her name? What the fuck, man? What's wrong with you? <laughs> you don't deserve females. After... Now we know why he doesn't talk to them. He can't appreciate them enough. Yeah, after menopause, killer whale moms become pod leaders. What? 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 Sorry, I was What reading... do you mean what you said? I was reading an ad. We are sponsored by the killer whales. No, we're not. What? Since when? I think you, I think you buy into it, Matt. I know we're not, but you have to push him to give him an answer. Booby bobbly boop. You said booby? Are you okay? You guys mental no, disabilities? Are you alright? This is the man that was late because he wanted food. <laughs> fucking surviving. It's fucking cringe. That's kind of weird, honestly. I'll have you know, the only thing I ate today was pop was day old popcorn. A day old popcorn? <laughs> Shit. What? The only thing I've eaten today was popcorn from my movie last night. Do you re microwave or just eat a cold? It's movie theater popcorn, so it's still fine, just as is. Oh, I've been getting into um, back into One Piece. Really? Huh? One How much free time Piece. do you have on your hands? One Piece, guys. One Piece. But why would you search for one piece for that long when you can get a three piece meal at Popeyes for five ninety nine? <laughs> no, I'm not watching like the future episodes. I'm just reigniting my drive to become the pirate king. And I'm watching okay. like previous like previous um arcs like with Nami and uh Nami, the League of Legends character? Yeah, with N Nami, with, um, <laughs> with, with Zoro, Zoro's big badass scene. You all know it if we, uh, if you've seen it. If you don't oh. know it, then don't know it. It's fine. Yeah. No, I don't know it, sadly. Choppers are just a lot of good ass build up story, character stuff, development thingy. I uh, I found it. What is it called? Uh, Project Lux. Lux like the League of Legends character? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Project Lux though. Bro, what the fuck? She looks like a midget. Why is her face so red? I didn't. I don't. I'm. I'm. Don't. I wasn't a romance. I know that. Why is her face so red? What do you mean? Why is her face so red? Oh, the fact no. of the matter is, this one's like really good. It was done very well. It actually felt like it was it was in the room with the character. It didn't feel like a NPC. It felt yeah, like a real character to me. Yeah, better. It's VR. It's visual novel. VR VN. Now, if only there's a mod to change the girl to <laughs> one of oh, the VTubers that Orc loves. Oh yes. <laughs> Yo, Orc would just. He just won't exist after that. He just, he just, his body will disintegrate and just joins the VR world. <laughs> I don't even think the studio that made it exists anymore, actually. Damn, Rip Orc's future dream of smashing a VTuber. Or maybe, hold on. Yeah, it's, um, whenever I try to look for that, it just takes me to um, this publishing company and not the actual developer company. That sucks for me. <laughs> Fuck is that? <laughs> what, is, what is that? <laughs> the angle just makes it so much funnier. Oh, wait a minute. I, I figured it out now. Hold on. Wait, is she, is she like your little sister in the game? Or what is this? No. What the fuck is she? If, my mem if memory serves correctly, she's an AI. In the game or in the... The story. Oh. Okay, I figured it out now. There was another, um... There was another really good one. Um, Spice and Wolf. Spice and Wolf VR. It was very short, but it was, it was good. This was the one I got as a gift. 
Spice and Wolf has a VR, holy shit. Yeah, it's very short. Very short. I I literally 100% of the game mm. in like... I, I 100% of the game in less than an hour. Bro, why does she look like a kid? She's supposed to be a grown-ass adult in the anime. Why is she a kid in VR? Okay. That's and, cool. uh... <laughs> It makes sense now, because that's the that, that that the company that made Project Lux is also the same exact company that made Spice and Wolf VR. Ew, it got worse. Which one came first? Spice and Wolf uh, VR came second. Honestly, I don't know why they look why it looks worse. To be honest, yeah, it does look worse. But it makes sense because I remember the animation being pretty fluid. But the characters did kind of feel pretty yeah, cardboard not, cutouty. None of boobs. Oh my gosh. Do you know Holo? What? Holo doesn't have boobs. No, I'm saying the Spice and Wolf girl. In Spice yes. and Wolf. Yes. She has a little bit. You know, no. They're very tiny. Yeah, but she looks completely flat in the VR. I think it's just the shirt. Oh. Wait, just let, take off the shirt. Wait, let me look at Holo naked real quick. Let me just compare. Oh it. my gosh. Welcome to the hentai episode. Um, Bro, she you got mean every episode's a hentai episode. Every picture, she's got some. She's got like a B. Yeah, she got some. I don't know why. She... I, I'll be honest. I don't know why. She, I think it's just because of. Uh... And they also made her look like a kid. She's not a kid. I think it might just because of the, cause because be because of the model that spicy uh, spicy tails uses the like, like, developing company. They like lollies. I know it. <laughs> I will. I will admit, man. Project Lux. If if someone wants to play a VR visual novel, play Project Lux. Even though it's twenty five dollars, which I think is a bit expensive, quite a bit actually. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty. Mm. <clears throat> Lux like a League of Legends character. <laughs> you beauty oh. here, boys and girls. We're getting sponsored by Project Lux. We are. No. Orcus and it's, it's, it's from 2018. What do you mean we're getting sponsored by a 2018 game? They need money for their 2020 20 game. What are you talking about? 2020 game. Everyone needs sponsors. Everyone needs We all need sponsors. I, I would like to sponsor my life out to some. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you, could you actually pay people if you walking advertisements? Yes. Yes. What do you think? Called merch. Are? Oh yeah, that too. Taxi. My shirt. Like. <laughs> your face. You're advertising for yourself, but no girls wants to buy your product. <laughs> Dang, bro! Why you gotta put it like that? <laughs> oh, something is uh. Do I dare talk about VTuber? <laughs> Do it. Bring it in a little bit. We're all bring on it topic. In? Yeah, we're, bring it. Yeah, yeah, we're all on topic. Okay, well, with the recently, I mean very recently, yesterday actually, Hollow Live Generation, sorry, Hollow Live English Generation 2 debuted. The hell's that? It, is that a book? Um, no, Hollow Live, Hollow Live is a uh, VTuber agency. It's the, it's the biggest VTuber agency, Hollow Live. Okay, so what came out? Um, their second branch of uh, English uh, VTubers came out. What is it called? The VTuber. Uh, the whole the the group the group the group is called Hollow Council. Hollow Council. So that's the girl's name. No, that's, uh, that's all five of their names. Like that's like the group name. All oh, five. Okay, what's all five's name? I want to see it. They. If I let me get let me try to get the names right. Oh, I see. I see it. Or does know the name? He knows what they are. I just type Holo, they are. Holo Council and you got five <laughs> girls up here. Alright, let's go. See, uh, say their names. Let's see it. I don't know uh, their names. So, starting, I'm, I'm assuming you're seeing the image of, uh, what, what image are you seeing? Green on the very left, red in the middle, very right is brown. Okay. And then blue, and then so, in between. The first one... Um, Which one? The first one is Fauna. Which one? She's the green one. Okay. And the one with the white hair Who? is uh, Sana. Is that a big boob? One. Oh god, yes. I love her already. She's Australian. The, the red-haired one that's upside down 
is a bells. Upside down, what? Jeez, Shift that down for you? Down. No. Oh, no. okay. The fuck's wrong with you? Hey, Jeez, my have a different image. She oh. posts herself sometimes just straight up being upside down. She's just being upside down, only one upside down held everyone. She is a rat of chaos. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming, I, I'm assuming we're going to see this image then. Then the one, the one with, with blue hair is a crony. That's my favorite one. Oh, look at those boobs. Uh, I like her too. And then the last one is Mume. Best girl. She's pretty cute. She's pretty good. Pretty Best cute, girl. Yeah. You yeah. can't change my mind on that. She's very wholesome. Very wholesome. Yeah, fuck the red guy and the green girl. Wait. What? What's wrong with the green girl? I don't know. They, they just... You got, they're all, they all have booba. They got, all have booba. You got the other three that's like o overpowering them. With either booba or like cuteness. I am pretty sure that Fauna's boobs are bigger than <laughs> Mume's. Who's Fauna? Well, Fauna's like the green-haired green. one. Oh. And Mume is the brown-haired one. Mume's cuter. Look at that long hair. Who needs those curls? <laughs> and you got exactly wait, a man knows. That's right. The good she even one. has a cape. Brown hair. Exactly. Muma or Booba or whatever. Bro, she straight up has a paper bag that she called friend. Oh, that's so cute. Exactly. I've taken I've taken inspiration from it. I'm getting a cat and I'm naming it Friend. I don't care. <laughs> she reminds me of uh, the girl from uh, Shield Hero. A little bit. Oh, Raphael? yeah. I can, I think it's Randy. I can kind of see it. A little bit, yeah. Just, just without the ears. So. There's this clip again. The, his it's favorite clip. Kuro Crony's my favorite. Crony's my favorite, man. I can't. like. It's I like her a lot. Mean. I like them all. I just like Crony a lot. Speed. Her voice immediately won me over. The second she spoke, it won me over immediately. Henry hasn't heard her voice. I know. I'm just saying. I'm just speaking. I'm gonna speak my mind. Oh, that's why you made you put the gif in here. That's it's... why I put the gif in. Yeah, I was so confused. Like I knew it was a VTuber, but I didn't know it was uh, this pot. Like just came out. Yeah, it was quite the experience. So crony, it was, um, a... yeah, crony, yeah. It was like a, it, it was they do their debuts in a relay. And it, it started at ten and it went all the way until around like eight. To oh, eight. that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, it, I watched every. I watched them. I watched almost every single one. I missed. I missed Fauna's. Wait, who's Omega? Oh, <laughs> oh her. We have no idea. She's, I, she I is supposedly <laughs> gonna be like the Ian's HN. Cause I see this meme underneath Holo Council. According to most people and like a tweet from Achan, she said uh, they have similar positions, so people are speculating she's Ian's HN. Oh! Wait, what the hell? This is. She looks. She or he looks pretty cool. It's most likely a she, because. Yeah, who would Hol Hol Alive is de Hol Alive deals with those. Yeah, who wants to see know? a guy? She got no boobs though, so They I'm have not. hollow stars. That exists. Who? That makes sense, honestly. I think it's kind of cool. Hollow stars? Hollow stars. Hollow stars are, is the male variant Bro, of I Hollow should, Alive. Bro, I should join it. There's, uh, there are no EN. Hollow if you wanted to join one, I, if you wanted to join a VTuber group, I could have told you about Nichi Sanji. Sanji? Nichi Sanji, yeah, they recently, they had... Keyword had uh, and, uh, auditions for both male and females. <laughs> Wait, he's got both male and female roles? In Niji Sanji. No, no, no. In Niji Sanji, uh, they don't have uh, like how Hollow Live has Hollow Stars, which is the male branch of Hollow Live. Niji Sanji is a different where they just have both uh, men and women in the same group. Oh. I guess the only problem is, Henry, you, can you sing? You know, it takes time. No, I don't. I think. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. But it builds up more character if you can't sing from the beginning, but you gradually get better. Mm -hmm. They won't hire you if you can't sing. <laughs> yeah, Niji, Niji, Niji Sanji wants people that can sing. Oh, if, okay. Well, Hollow Alive doesn't really care, though, if you can't sing. They just, yeah. They just want personality, right? Hollow Alive. Yeah, I mean, look at... Uh, they have a girl in, they have a girl in um, Generation 1, Hollow Myth, that literally... <laughs> Ame, um, who can't sing at all. What do you mean? She released her own hit single. What was that? Gura doesn't know I exist.
Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fool. Look, man, look, man. All right. A lot of things happen, all right? A lot of things happen. Wait, so, like, these groups, like, are their schedule, like, kind of put out for them? They sort of release thing? their own schedule. Basically, the way it works is, like, they have... They request to play a game, and then if management confirms that they can put on their schedule for like that week, oh, I'm playing this game at this time. Oh. Uh, yeah. And sometimes they'll have karaoke streams where they sing. And the un you want you always want to catch those unarchived karaoke. Unarchived. So that's when they're, well, they're unarchived because they have copyrighted songs in them. Oh yeah. Because heck can. Everything's copyrighted. It's so sad. Yeah. You can't do that. Wait, when they I'm do just... this, do they do they stream in an office or do they stream at home? Like their own home? At home. From further, like, everyday streams, they do it at home, but eventually they, like, after enough time, most, in Hololive at least, they will, like, earn a 3D model type thing. And mm -hmm. then, then they go in person and to like the office and record like skits and stuff there in 3D. Which uh, it's very... like like keys in the eye 3D model, right? Not like yeah. the yeah. VTuber we see on Twitch. Like those are mainly like VR 2D. chat type style. Where oh, okay. it's like you can see the whole body moving and all that. Nice. The problem is that the English branch will, never, will probably never have that. What do you mean, Ame got one? <laughs> yeah, Ame, Ame got lucky. I was surprised. But, uh... Because you have, have to be in the, the office, and most yeah. of them aren't, so... And, and since it's, it's like in, in Hollow Live, they're all from Japan, so it's, you know, they, 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 it's easy for them to go to an office. So they're in the same country. But for Hollow Live English, it doesn't matter what country you're from, as long as you speak English. That's the problem. Yeah. That's why it probably never happened. But there's my there's my there's my two cents on the VTubers. I'm sorry. <laughs> Turns out this week was the VTuber epi week episode. No, we only spoke like for ten minutes about VTubers, okay? And how much longer can you do? I can do much longer. Exactly. I could, I could, but I'm not going to because I think we I think we I think we, we can branch off from that. I'll save some for next week. <laughs> And the week after that, and the week after that. There will always be a VTuber segment as long as I exist in this podcast. <laughs> I apologize, that's just how it is. <laughs> I'm a simple man, alright? Work out stream when? Never. Damn. Uh, do you think I work out? So I get girls. Bro, you think I'm gonna get girls? Hey, if, there. If, if my girl ain't a VTuber, a VTuber 2D model, I don't want her. <laughs> I mean, clearly. Wait, I lost my train of thought. What were you talking about? I don't know, man. What do you mean? How do you not know? I, you, I don't know. You spoke like two words and you stopped and oh, you're like, okay. I, I, I was about. saying workout stream. And Oryx, like, I don't need them for getting VTuber coochies. Oh, yeah, I said that's I don't right. Want them. You don't need big muscles. Why do you think girl big girls muscles. don't care? They don't care about. I don't muscles. think you guys even work out at all. <laughs> you, you, you once you get married, you pull out that dad bod, and bam, you win. Bam, dad bod can protect I'm you. I'm already working on mine. <laughs> are, are you are you like a boomer? Are you what? What the frick? I I, th I thought I just heard a joke from a thirty year old. <laughs> I drink a lot of beer. Oh my god. You do? I, not even. I really just drink when it's like a party or something. Oh good, beer sucks ass. That would disagree. <laughs> what? You got no taste. <laughs> okay. I, I disagree. I'm with you, man. I don't like, I don't like beer. I would rather drink li like small portion of hard liquor that tastes good versus like 18 beer. bottles of beer. Like, just so it looks like I'm drinking stuff. <laughs> just so, like, it looks like I'm holding something in my hand at a party. Bro, that's, that's when you just, I don't know, man. Just, I, don't like, I don't like, I don't like alcohol, I'm not an alcohol kind of person, that's, but. That's when you whip out the apple juice. 
That or I ordered milk. <laughs> Casually walk up to the bar. Hey, yo, you guys got milk here? <laughs> I mean, some sometimes they do. I mean, I'm just saying. I know they, some they do. bars do use because milk is the ingredient in some drinks. Cowboy oh. milk. Y'all got any milk and chocolate, please? The, the cowboy, uh, cowboy drink. What cowboy drink? I don't think. Uh, that's not the name of it. I forgot the name of it. But there's a drink with milk in it, with like milk and and like some milk and coffee and with alcohol. I I don't remember the name. I think just called. I think it's called cowboy. I know there's a drink called the White Russian, which is vodka and milk. I think. Ew, that's disgusting. Cowboy well, drink. Cowboy drink. Yeah, cowboy cocktail. There you go. So what's in it? Let's see, let's see. Two ounce of whiskey. One ounce of half and half milk. That's it? I, I guess so. I thought there was more. I thought they put like a little bit of coffee flavoring. Never mind then. Yeah, Aren't you? Way. Are you still studying to? Are you still trying to become a bartender, Matt? I would like to, but doing no bowls. It's COVID, so like I can't really do the most of. I can't do the. Uh, I don't know if I can do the actual course or whatever. So the main thing I've just been doing is mixing drinks with my aunt, because she took the course a while ago. So she still has like a booklet full of the stuff that she got. Which has like a list of drinks, different glassware, what type of drink goes in each glass. I think the hardest thing for me, because like, whenever I make something, like cooking or whatever, I like exact measurements. Like if you give me a recipe and you're like, yeah, just throw in a pinch of salt. I'm like, all right, where's the measurement cup for a pinch? So, because like in most bartending is like, you're on the fly, you just have to guesstimate. And just like, yeah, that looks about enough. Which I'm sure is much easier along like with time. But like for a new person and someone like me just doing Yeah, when you start out pressure. you gotta go by the numbers. It's like, yeah, just pour in a shot. Like, okay, let me get out the measuring cup for a shot. No no no, do it without the measuring cup. Well, I guess you're getting five shots. I don't know. I think it's I think it's better to be like that than like guesstimate because then you got like some the toxic is, drinkers. Uh, You're like, oh, that's not that's not enough, or I don't know, put more of that. Well, another thing is like when you work in a bar, shit, you don't you can't be wasting alcohol because they have a. I was learning about it. They have some bars. They have this little training cup thing that they place in the bottom of a shaker tin. So they put it in the bottom, and then they tell you to free pour, like, however much you think is whatever they tell you. And then they pull it out, and it's like, well, you're this much over. And oh. with alcohol, when you're, like, a little bit over, that's that can add up to quite a bit of money. Especially if you're using, like, higher tier alcohols. True. Like, uh, plus I would assume that, like, getting the exact measurements doesn't look pleasing to the person who's buying the drink. No one wants to see a measurement cup come out from come out from somewhere and just be pouring ingredients. Well, there are ways to like. Uh, there's a thing called flare bartending. Those that's like the time where they like flip the bottles and all that shit. So there is a way to make it look appealing. Become that. But yeah, that's. <laughs> it's literally like, all right, take this glass bottle worth two hundred dollars, throw it over your head, and catch it without looking. Doing the balls. Hey man, I mean, I don't have practice. You'd be able to do it. After actually, yeah, because they make uh, they make these things called practice bottles. They're just plastic bottles in the shapes of like standard alcohol bottles. So you can practice with those without like risking breaking anything. Yeah. But another step for it is like, because you think about it, you know, like at that point when you like reach the age limit and then you're allowed doing all these things you previously weren't allowed yeah. i know you you haven't really experienced it because you're good boy or like buying alcohol or whatever i oh, know you got no you haven't reached it yet in america it's 21 yeah america's 21 
<laughs> so Henry, you what? well, like Henry, you've probably done it. Where like you were twenty, and then you're twenty one, and you got your parents asked you or something to go buy just alcohol or something. No, maybe no. no but I know the feeling you're talking about. Yeah, it's like you, you're pre- you're doing something that you're now allowed to do that you previously weren't. It just feels like. Yeah, feels so much freedom right yeah if it's freedom but it's also like nervousness because it's like i said like like five times uh it's more of a feeling where you're like fuck it's a where feeling you... of fuck what, <laughs> what? <laughs> i'm trying here okay go I've, on. I've been told like by my parents all right i can go pick up a a pack of beer for the for this party that's happening so i'm like oh shit i gotta go buy the beer all by myself and then you go to the store and like can i see your id please you're like you you like pull it out of your wallet and you're like they're like yeah you're good every time they do that it's like a sigh of relief it's like i didn't do anything wrong i am perfectly fine (laughs) yeah thank god my age didn't regress no, because it's still like you would never try it when you're 18 or 20 in your case. Like I know kids do it, but like I'm scared of get like basically it's a new thing, and I'm scared of the new things because you've never done it before. It's like trying a new thing for the first time. Mm-hmm. You don't know how it's gonna go, and you're like, <sighs> I'm trying. I mean, to like that's just that's just the, like I feel like in life. Like, you, once you become an adult, they just drop a bunch of things on you, and they're just like, figure it out. <laughs> but it's also... Taxes? The, go for it, chief. Figure it out. <laughs> but in the case of bartending, it's like, alright, so, you're 19. What made you want to get into alcohol? It's like, alright, fuck, do I tell them I've been drinking alcohol since <laughs> I was before 19? <laughs> I mean, I like... But, you yeah, couldn't, couldn't they, like, not do, any, do anything, anything to you anymore? Once you're 19, yeah, you can't, because, like... Alright, I'm gonna snitch on my friend real quick. Yesterday when we went out, we oh were my. snitching. We went to a restaurant, and this guy is 18. His birthday's in like a month or two. And me and my friend, and there's three of us, two of us were 19. And we're like, yeah, we're just gonna casual, we're gonna order a beer with meal. And then he's like, guys, guys, do I do it? Do you think they'll care? So then he just casually ordered a beer, and then we're all sitting there waiting, and the waitress walks away without IDing any of us, and we're like, we're in the clear! And then uh, and then Paranoid Me is like, wait, what if they ask for ID at the end? That'll be too <laughs> and then, late! And then that's what, that's what they told, my friends told me, like, well, you already drank it, they're not gonna make you throw it up. Throw it up right now, right on the floor. We're not losing the license. No, get out of here. They, <laughs> apparently, most most places can lose their license if they get caught selling. I mean, one hundred percent. Yeah, like that, that's. I'd, but we also a, giving a drink to a minor is bad. We also went about like ten minutes before the last food call, and half an hour before closing. So that was our reassurance. We're like, yeah, they're not gonna care. <laughs> yeah, it sucks that all the. Uh... All the repercussion goes to the the place that serves it to you, but I think most of I think the the kids don't get any repercussion, right? They don't get sent to jail or something. They, I, I don't, they don't think they can, cause it, because it's a case of employees not being trained enough or being lazy enough to like not do it. Yeah, because yeah. so there's nothing... unless it's like painfully obvious, like a six year old's trying to order a draft beer. Like, obviously you're not gonna, but if someone's, like, 18, like, most 18, most people that I know nowadays have at least drank with their parents or something. Yeah. Except fucking orc over there. I don't like drinking, is that a bad thing? I'm orc. sorry, I'm just booking, I'm just point, making, <laughs> I'm okay, sorry. I got, like... <laughs> I got something for you to drink, just to try it out. Try, uh, try Long Some... Island iced tea. Oh uh, yeah, the one with five different types of alcohol no, and no, coke but on top. Don't drink the whole thing. Just, just it's for the taste. It's not for the how the, strong the, it is. The, it's, it's pretty strong. It's a strong drink, but it's supposed to take exactly like iced tea. That's the whole premise behind it. Yeah, but that's not the point, Henry. He doesn't want it for the taste. He doesn't want the alcohol inside him. 
Yeah, um, I, don't like, I, don't, I don't like alcohol. To tell whoever's making it to to get a virgin Long Island iced tea. That is literally Coke. The soda. It's literally just a Coke. <laughs> Everything else in that drink is alcohol. Yo, rum and cola, virgin? Just Coke? Okay. So just iced tea? Okay. <laughs> Sir, you're ordering a $10 drink for a $2 pop. Did I stutter? Yeah, you stuttered at least three times during that sentence. I don't care! <laughs> for you. Sorry. Wait, wait, Luna. So, Hi. so if you order an expensive drink, but then you say virgin, do you, are you able to like give people like some discount because they're not getting the alcohol or? No, well, because... In most cases, if you're or because there's two things, there's a cocktail that's like alcohol and all that, but then there's also mocktails. So those are like drinks that you make uh, without alcohol. Oh, okay. So you wouldn't ask for a cocktail as version; you'd ask for the mocktail version if there is one. But when you say something virgin, would they? A good example. The good example that I use is a uh, uh, pina colada because you're gonna it's. Pineapple and coconut, so you can have a version which is just pineapple and coconut with shaved ice blended, or you can throw rum in there. Would it so cost the it, same though? If you're a bartender uh, and someone ordered that, I you... don't know exactly, but I have to imagine it would be. It okay. would definitely not charge you, and they can't because, I, it depends on the place. I guess they could charge you for it, or they could not. Because if it says on the menu or wherever you're ordering from, if it says like uh, virgin options, then I <laughs> guess they can't shoot you for it. Virgin options. I'm using technical <laughs> terms here. What do you want from me? No, it just sounds funny. I guess the technical term is mocktail. Whatever. Once you die, you, there's a lot of virgin options. There's like 69 virgins options for you, waiting for you in the heavens. <sighs> But anyway, back to the whole, like, applying to be a partner. I'm I'm just, my biggest concern is trying to show up and be, like, uh, just a room full of, like, 30, 40-year-olds or 20, like, 20 to 40-year-olds being, like, yeah, we're going to learn how to make strings. And there's just 19-year-old me in a room full of adults, like, hi, I like alcohol. <laughs> I think when was your birthday? Uh, five months ago. How did you grow such an interest for alcohol in five years? I don't uh, think they'll ask you this kind I of mean, stuff. When you when you told me, um, back before like you could drink, when you told me that you liked alcohol, you told me that you liked bartending in general. You liked, you liked the idea of bartending. I was do that just like a lie. Was that a bluff? No, no, because the way I explained it to you was, the idea of bartending is like, it's like cooking. Without the risk of as much of like ruining something like super expensive, without burning your it, house down, <laughs> exactly. Because like cooking, if you burn your meat or something like that, what can you do with that? You can't just cut it off because it's it's gone. You've ruined the the texture, all that. With bartending, that's why most times in bartending you start with your cheapest ingredients. So if you mess up on your cheap ingredients, you're not losing that much. But Water. if you st- Exactly, because if something uses water, you pour water in, you're like, ah, oh, shit, that's too much. You just pour it out, or you do yeah. something else. If you pour a $200 bottle in there and you pour too much, it's either you really like the customer, or you just save it for later, or something, I guess. Because I yeah. don't know. But yeah, it's, it's, I like the idea. It's, it's, an, it's a perfect balance of like, measuring getting to mix things as much as i don't like being or i guess it's not because i feel like with my social sense i don't like starting conversations or anything so as a bartender someone else has to start the conversation so that in that concept i'm okay with like socially interacting with someone yeah, they come to you, so they they'll naturally start it. Exactly, unless you're trying start... to hit on a girl, right? The only well, that's another thing. Most bars and sh- I guarantee you, most people don't follow. But like, the rules of a bartender, like you're not allowed drinking on the job, ninety percent of the time broken. You're not supposed to flirt with customers, probably broken a lot. 
and those are like the two main ones, I guess. But I mean, the drinking on job thing, it's, you can't, even if you did, you, there's, there's pretty much no way to, to like, deflect it, you know? But flirting with yeah. customer, you could just say you're just being nice, or they're asking me questions. You could say literally anything, but if, if your boss yeah. sees that, oh, this bottle, is, there should be less, much left, but it's gone. Did you drink it? Like, there's, there's no way for you to get out of that, really. Yeah, well, even I still. I spilled it into my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I dropped well, even, it in my mouth. Even still, if you're drinking on the job, that means you have, even if it's only a little bit, that's impaired judgment, so. Because yeah. as a bartender, like, especially in, like, a bar and setting and stuff, your job is, like, to make sure that you know when to stop serving someone, especially. Can so, I ask a question from someone who doesn't drink? Uh, sorry, I'll let you go. Sorry. No, you, so that's just basically it. you have to have like the mental ability to be able to, to to tell like when someone's had too much, when not to serve someone if somebody's being an asshole or something like that. Yeah, when to so, s- stop so a drinking fight or something. And drinking just impairs that, so that's why you're advised not to do it. Question. Q and A. What's the What's the appeal of drinking alcohol? Because to me, it, it's just giving yourself a debuff. True. There's no but deal. For me, at it's least. More, <laughs> it's more like... Uh, what's it called? Letting yourself more out. Like, drinking is like... In my case, it's more like a social setting. Because it's like... Yeah, you just, it's, it's no different than... But like, it also it also doesn't make any sense in a social set setting either. Like, what's the what's the what's the idea of just getting yourself like getting yourself drunk or getting yourself a little more loopy in a social setting? What's, what 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 gives you an advantage for that? I got this now. Uh, well, as because there's a thing that's why some people call it liquid courage. You start drinking, you start losing your judgment. Bam, ba, boo, da, bap. You start go talking to someone that you would orderly never talk to. You loosen up. Yeah. Alright. So it'll work very well for Orc if he does like to drink in social settings. Like you know, no. You'll lose we, yourself. We already up. went over this. I know, I know, I know. But in a way, that's also saying that, you know, the person themselves is not confident enough to do it on a normal basis. Uh, yeah, that's also a problem, yeah. Which is why I don't do it. I would rather do it naturally. That's the thing. You're also like. No, one of the main things, like whenever I drink, it's always <laughs> what the you fuck? try. You try your best not to get shit faced. <laughs> if you no, that's wrong shit. All right. I love how you but send that picture as you're explaining. <laughs> and you pretend actually, nothing's going on. For for context, Matt just sent a meme while he's just explaining. <laughs> and I'm related to what we're talking about. Don't worry about it. What were we talking about? <laughs> Fuck, maybe I am Mume. Okay, what were they talking about? Are you drunk we're... right now? Are you okay? We Wait, were, we're talking, talking about, about drinking. Yes. Which? What about it, though? What you're doing right now. You're drunk. No. Is what that, was like, I... We were, I, Henry and I were saying, like, what is if appeal? you were to... Yeah, yeah, the appeal. You said a social setting. I said, like, I don't understand even, even in a social setting. Even... Even if it does give you liquid courage, it doesn't make any sense to give yourself liquid courage if it's, if it's ah, not no, you I yourself remember. doing I remember. it. I remember. It was yeah? like, um, you try not to get shit-faced. So, basically, you have, like, one drink, so you're like, yeah, we're, we're, we're chilling with the boys. We're having but it's still a boost. debuff to you, even if one drink. It's the, well, even a one drink. Well, yes, but still, it's... Because you're still impaired. It's like, it's like an immediate impaired jump judgment, isn't it? Nearly immediate. It also depends on how much you've eaten that day. So, like, if you've eaten nothing all day and then have a beer, it's going to affect you way more than if you had a beer after a meal. Mm-hmm. But I guess some people, like, just enjoy the part of, like, the impairment because it's, like, I don't know. You get to be a little bit not like yourself. Here's why I think... Reason... Oh, right. sorry, you go, Rick. The only reason I could think of someone wanting to, like, give themselves just, like, kind of a looser, like, a... Just kind of forget about things, you know, kind of just get, like... I don't know how to describe it. You're, like, you're really drunk, basically. I know, escapism. It, yeah, escapism, yeah. But even then, I, I think there's better ways. Better yeah, drugs. Ways. Drugs, yeah. Not drugs, <laughs> PCP. just, like, I don't know, like... 
playing games or anything like that. I just feel like there's better ways to do it. That would be more fun for you. But have you tried mixing the both? <laughs> I mean, it makes good content, but besides that, I don't see it. Uh, I don't... I... It, this is just from a also this is from an opinion from a person, from a person who like hasn't drank or doesn't want and then plan on drinking. So, and also the appeal, yeah. like going back to what we were saying, like the appeal in like a bar or in a drinking social setting, like you know, like in the gym is is about like who can lift the hardest, right? In the video games, like who, in like Apex is like who can get number one the most, who can kill everyone the fastest kind of deal, but in a bar, it's, it's only about who can drink the most, which is like, the coolest person can drink the, the most or something. Mm, like that. No. Oh, shit. Not, well, I mean, I guess maybe, but like, you also can't just do that, man. Because <laughs> if you get absolutely drunk out of your mind, you ever seen Paul Blart Mall Cup? No. No? That's like the best example I have. <laughs> Basically, it's if you drink way too much, you lose your ability to make judgments. So, in yes. that case, you start doing stupid shit. In the case of Paul Blart Mall Cop, best movie ever. Just kidding, that's Ratatouille. <laughs> he... Gets drunk to try to like work up the courage to talk to a girl and ends up in a drunken haze, like fighting people, getting up on stage and singing shirtless, <laughs> not remembering anything, getting a full back tattoo. So it's not, there is the appeal, of course, of I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just a fucking 19 year old that likes alcohol. Well, you're, yeah, but you're someone who likes alcohol, so you. To be able to, you should be able to explain what, Some, why, why do you like it? Sometimes the flavors like are good. The flavor, but couldn't you just have something that's not alcohol related? Yes. Yeah, that's why most of the time I don't drink alcohol related. But even in a social setting, what makes you like it in a social setting? Because sometimes you just want to pop a brewski with the boys. But, but why? It's called peer what pressure, makes... Orc. <laughs> it's called peer pressure. Not like whether pressure. Whether they say or not, peer pressure could could not even be any dialogue. It could just be, everyone's well, holding a beer, the you're not, that's not peer, pressure. peer pressure. It also you, could just be a factor of, like, you, you, get to fit feel, in. you could you get to feel more like an adult, I guess. Because like, as a kid, you're like, ah, oh, yeah, can I get my appy juice in my sippy cup, please? But then sometimes you just want to go out and just, you feel, it's like when you go out, for a sit-down restaurant, often you'll go with your parents, and you obviously feel like a child there. But if you go with your friends, who are all the same age, you can order a beer or something like that, and you get to feel more like an adult, I guess. And then drive home and get car crash, yes. That's right. That's Adults why you do don't that. drive home. You don't drink and drive. That's very bad. That's right. You don't drink. I'm a... I'm, I'm, I'm not <laughs> Lu, Luna, I feel like Luna, you don't really fully understand why you like to drink in a social setting yet. No, I just like to do but, it because sometimes the drinks just taste good. Like you... one, bro, me and my aunt, we made a drink. It tastes exactly like carrot cake. Liquid form. And it, <laughs> yeah, it's, no, it's like, <laughs> the, w the way it works is you take a glass, you layer these three types of alcohol so that they're all separated. By you density? The whole, yeah, density. Oh, yes, layers. Those. You drink the whole thing, swash it in your mouth, and it straight up tastes like carrot cake. Hmm. I gotta but, admit, there's a lot of interesting drinks for alcohol. Henry, do you, know, do you want to know some fun names for alcohol drinks? Let's hear <laughs> some. Uh, there's one called an orgasm. Oh my god, I know these names are made by drunk people. I just know it. <laughs> that one is peppermint schnapps and whipped cream. All right, where's cream pie? There's one called the kamikaze. Oh, I've heard of that. I think there's one called the Asian sex party. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Asian uh... sex party. Well, I took a picture of them. I'm 
Of the Asian sex party? No, the <laughs> names of drinks you <laughs> flippity flap. <laughs> <laughs> if I make okay. a new if, wait, Luna, if you make if you ever make a drink, you name it after like Hork or me. You know how hard it is to make a new. Well, I guess Bro, you can always so make easy. a new drink. You can, but is it gonna taste good? No, but you can still make it and name it. I'm going to make the most disgusting drink possible and name it the Henry. Bro, you know some oh. some you know some YouTuber like alcohol review YouTubers is just gonna go, yo, what is it? Canadians the worst Canadian alcohol? We're gonna go and have a taste, and it just goes to your bar. And just <laughs> that is a thing. Yeah, All right, I found some names. All right, there's one called the Golden Flash. Is there one called Orcs Lisp? Nope. You should. Oh, should. Screw you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's one called Heroin. There's one called The Apocalypse. Uh, Give us the juicy one. ones. I don't know what other juicy ones there like are. The, the Asian Orgy Party. There aren't that many of those. Damn, alright. Uh, what else can I give you? There's one called The Mexican Leprechaun. <laughs> How about Finding My Nipple? Probably. Damn. Here, I'm just gonna Google. Uh. <laughs> These are like book titles, you know? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, bro, just wait until they start getting to the like, light novel titles. <laughs> Alcohol drinks. <laughs> like, oh <my> <laughs> yo, let, let me get this La Bridge for Terabithia's drink. <laughs> Catcher in the Can Rye. I... Give me the Catcher in the Rye right now. <laughs> Can I get the, uh, my little sister is way too cute, but I can't express my feelings to her because she's my sister and also underage? Drink. <laughs> yeah, don't forget drink. Virgin. Remember virgin? I want that extra virgin. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Hey man, when it comes down to a point where names have become too long. No. Clearly, you've never read a light novel. I like it when my synopsis is in the title. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's one called The Slutty Nurse. Oh, yes. Wow. Here's one for Henry. Purple Alaskan Thunderfuck. It's alright. It's alright. What? It's alright. There's, the, there's one called The Magnum Blowjob. Oh. One called Balls Deep. Wait, where are the boobs ones? I don't know if there are any boobs. It's con control F and type of boobs. They're pictures. Shit. One called Pop My Cherry. <laughs> That's good. Or it needs to oh, drink it. Wait. There's a good one. It's called the Adios Motherfucker. Or okay. That one is actually. Or Orc is in shock. He cannot handle all of this right now. He cannot. Drink the pop, the cherry one. Ah, uh, here you go, Henry. There's one called Slippery Panties. Oh, hot. I'm gonna look that up. Slippery Panties <laughs> drink. Is it a car? Oh. Mark, are you okay? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just listening, man. Wait, there's one called Slippery Nipple. Well, there you go. Enjoy. Irish Cream Liquor. It's actually pronounced liqueur, but okay. Oh shit. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Slippery panties. One ounce of Frangelico hazelnut liqueur. One ounce of vanilla vodka. And one ounce of butterscotch schnapps. 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 But anyway, that back to good. the original topic that this all branched out from. What was it? Yeah, where did it branch from? Me being a bartender. Yeah, we're well, yeah, going yeah. to bartending class. But it's are you, just. Are it's you going to plan on doing that when, I, when COVID dies down? I, in want, 2025? I want to do it, but it's still just the fear of like 19 year old, he'd like alcohol. Don't her to worry, Luna. Oh, I honestly don't think you'll be that. Like, I don't think it'll be that it bad. Won't, it won't be that bad, but the paranoid side of me is just weird. Fuck it, Tuna. Those you need to get drunk. To freaking shut up. Yeah, you need to get drunk so you can go ahead and do it. Show up to class. I'm here to make drink. 
I practice on the way here. I made five. Luna, <laughs> the they were very good. Like a courage, you know? That's what you need right now. All right, guys. I think it's time to wrap it up. All right. Yeah. That's on that you, Matt. Wait, can we have a recap? Like, what do we talk about this episode besides from um, <laughs> alcohol, b bartending, alcohol, bartending, VTubers, games I we're was playing, gaming, games we're playing, VTubers, um, uh, VR, VR games, VR visual novels, and then alcohol. Alcohol and bartending. All right. That's this is good. how Henry gets his titles. Instead of remembering what we're talking about, he just, he just makes us recap it so we can get some number. <laughs> By the way, Henry, start your timer. Um, what? Did you start your timer? What timer? Oh my gosh. Wait, there's nothing really to cut out, so there's no need for timer. This is all gonna be raw. Raw footage. Am I right? Wow. Okay, I just help. I just help. All right, this has been the Fax Machine podcast where there's nothing but the facts and except the machine. I'm Luna Tuna Matt because I have five names. And Sorry. dumb one, <laughs> dumb two are over there. Say Hello. bye, dumb one and dumb two. Goodbye. Yeah, guys, have a good day. Make sure to check it out at Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Anchor, and, and follow all of our social medias and stuff. It'll yeah, be if, down you're in description. This, if you're watching this once, go watch it again on a different platform. There's another. I was gonna tell you once it finally ended. There's another part you need to cut out. <laughs> oh, there's another part. Okay, all right. There's just another part you need to cut out once we end. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you next time, you nerds. Yeah. Bye, -bye. bitch. Bye, -bye.